today we're going to start with making another flip book. This time it's decimals. Once you notice the order we want the foldables to be, or the flips to be in, is adding, subtracting, and then multiplying and dividing. When you pick up your papers, they're not really in that order, so you need to pay attention to that. When you get your two papers, you're going to see decimals and then multiplying. You're going to want to flip that second paper, so adding and subtracting is underneath decimals. And then if you flip this over, you'll see multiplying and dividing. And if you fold this down, it'll be in the right order. And then just take a moment to staple that. And we found that so many people lost their foldable that I want you guys to actually do the trimming and let's get it into our notebooks today so it doesn't get lost. Trim it as close as you can here both sides so it fits in the notebook. You'll want to get your scraps into the recycling. And we're going to fold it or put the uh, flip book on the opposite page. Yesterday we put the fractions on page 16. We're going to put decimals on page 17 here on the right side. You're going to want to take a look at where the cutout needs to happen and look inside and see if that's going to really bother anything inside of your folds. I think I'm going to cut mine right about here and put a mark on it so that I know I'm going to get around that hole so I can still put this in my notebook. And then we're going to do dot, dot, not a lot and get that glued down on this right hand page. So go ahead and pause the video and take care of those. When we come back, we're going to just work on the inside of the adding and subtracting tab. So if you look at the top here, rules for adding and subtracting decimals. If we have 7.10 or 7 tenths, plus 31 and 2.29, which is also pronounced 31 and 29 hundredths. We're going to simply add them by lining them up with the decimal. This arrow here is pointing to show that this might have looked like 7.1 plus 31.29. But when we put this number up here, we're going to add a zero in the place for the hundredths so that this lines up nice and clean. So let's take a look at this example one. We have the whole number seven added to five and three hundred and fourteen thousandths, or five point three one four. If we put seven point plus five point three one four. We have to put three zeros here to cover those three places that are after the decimal up here. And then we're going to just simply add this. 0 plus 4, 0 plus 1, 0 plus 3. We bring the decimal down. And 7 plus 5. There we go. The same is true when we are subtracting. We're going to first put down the numbers that we're subtracting, making sure to line up the decimals. So we put the 6 here and the 0.39. Over here we can add a 0, and this time we're going to have to do some borrowing, which is why it's really important to have these zeros filling in. So we're going to change this to a 5 and make that 10. When we borrow, 10 minus 9 is 1. 5 minus 3 is 2. We have to borrow again up here. And that's going to be a 0. And this is now 15. 15 minus 6 would be 9. Okay. So pretty short video today, but I want you guys to start practicing on the worksheet that's also left at your table. You're going to work on the adding and subtracting of decimals today.